Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you the ending. This is part two of the I Will Go and Do video for the 2020 LDS Youth Theme. I ran out of battery. It was perfect timing because our smoke alarm actually went off because my son was burning a pizza in the oven. So, the beeping would have been, <laughs> would have been annoying anyway. It's perfect timing. It's all good. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up where I left off, which is about halfway through the song, but we've done the hard part, which is the introduction also, okay? So I'm going to kind of, I'll just play it and then I'll, I'll stop. I'll play it just so you can kind of see. And so it's going to be on the G5. When I feel overcome, I've already shown this part. And all my strength is gone, I think of all the ways. I'm going to add my pinky. He's blessed me. Then go to a C, back to G. My journey. Seven is about where I left off, okay? A minor, lift up your ring, you have an A minor seven. Okay, so, and I, it says light picking, but it's gonna be not as light as the first verse. But here I'm gonna go. Something, I'm gonna start picking right away. He will, I'm plucking one, two, three, and five, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I don't really care, you could go. One, two, three, one, two, three, I don't like that. You could do that, that's pretty. One, two, three, and five, three, two, three, Finish your eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You gotta get eight beats in there, okay? He will give me all the strength. Give me, give me all the G. Same thing. I'm gonna pluck everybody, but I only get four beats. Strength, I, then a D, needed. So both of those guys only get four beats. So the G and the D. A minor, seventh, eight beats. So to my C2 bands. I, I, I kind of like to hold that. Pluck everybody. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just going to kind of hold it, okay? You could even go, or see, whatever he commands. You could even hold it there. I will go and then I'm back to your G. Now I'm going to pluck stronger. I'm going to go, I'm going to keep that same that we were doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But now I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna pluck it harder and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, no, not a G, five, just a G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I'm doing there is that main first pick that I underlined, six and one, two, three, four, five, six, no. Okay, so I'm hitting my sixth every time to make it a little bit stronger, every time I hit one. Six and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Okay, that's the beats. Let me try it saying the string notes. Six and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But every time I hit one, I'm also hitting six, but it's really hard to say that. Six and one, two, three, six and one, two, three, six and one, two. Got it? Okay, <laughs> that kind of works. That's the pattern, okay? And then a B minor, same thing. One, two, three, and five. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Minor six and one, two, three, four, five, six, and then, then put your pinky on two and grab two. Okay, and go two, three, and then go to your C two and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could resolve to a C, but I listened and they don't resolve there, they stay on that C two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which I think is pretty. You could also do this since they're not resolving to a C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whatever you want to do, it's totally your call, okay? I like them both, depending on the day, okay? Um, let's see, let me put that with the words, and the second line is going to be the exact same thing, okay? Here we go. I will go and, I will go and do, I will stand for truth. Way, you broke my 
brand new pick and it says new pick right there. It's got it on top of this little segment, okay? Because it kind of does it something cool. He'll provide a way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and this is what I'm hearing, I listened really carefully to the notes, this is what I'm hearing. It's a D4, but normally with a D sus4, we're going to add our pinky, so we're going to play a D and add our pinky to add this fourth note in the chord. One, two, three, four. That's why this is a D sus4, but I'm just calling it a D4 because sus takes up too much room, okay? So I'm just going to go D4, so normally we add but right now we're gonna add it, we're gonna take that off, and we're gonna add this note right there by lifting our pointer. It's a different way of playing a D sus4, okay? And, and I want my bass note to still be four, okay? So my D4, number one, later we are gonna do it the original, the most typical way. That's gonna be called D4 number two, because that's the second time that we, second D4 we hit in the song. The first D4 is this one. Same exact chord, but just different positions. If you were to analyze the notes, they're the same notes, just in a different order, okay? D4, number one, is the D without the pointer. And we're gonna grab one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm plucking all one, two, and three together, and I'm gonna hit my thumb on one, four, and seven. I'm gonna add my thumb, I should say, on one, four, and seven. One, two, three, That's my D4 number one. Then I'm going to go to my E minor two. Yes, I do have a picture of that. Okay, good. All right, I've got pictures of all these fun little chords, okay? And I'm going to tell you to go into the middle. So E minor two is my ring finger is on four and four. Fourth string, fourth fret. My pointer is going to grab five, but I really don't need him. So guess what? I'm not going to worry about him, okay? Because I'm not hitting the fifth string. I'm going to go into the middle instead of one, two, three. I'm going to move my tall ring or ring tall and pointer off of one, two, three, and I'm going to go into the middle. Two, three, four. My bass note is still six. Not pretty. Now you could go like this. They don't, but I'm tempted to go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha! Isn't that fun? One, two, three. Totally optional if you want to. I love the way that sounds. Okay, so let me put. Oh, and then you're going to do a D. Oh, I'll finish this line. A D with your thumb wrapping around, and I clearly hear this is their bass note there. So we're going to do a D with our thumb wrapping around, grabbing the sixth string on the second fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a regular G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So that is your D4. It's your for number one. Then your E minor two, and then your D with a thumb, and then your regular G <clears throat> with that same pattern of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, you're plucking one, two, and three, and adding your bass note on the first, fourth, and seventh beat of each little segment of eight counts, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put it with the words, okay? If I can find my place, okay. Come into it, sorry. He'll provide a, here we go. Okay, so this is it. Way for me to cross the desert, to sail across the ocean. That's where he sends me up above his. Okay, now we're gonna do our C2. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a C like this if I remember. I probably will forget and just have to do a quick shift. Follow his plan. And that's kind of tricky when you're shifting in the middle of your eight beats. It's hard to jump on one, four, and seven when you are changing chords on five. So I kind of ignore the one, four, and seven when I have four beats on like these little chords that have a half amount, the half the amount of time as the rest of them. And this is one. The C2 and the C only get half. They only get four beats. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That works pretty well, okay? 
follow his plan. I'll do whatever he, do whatever, I said no one, whatever he got. D4, back to your D4, number one. Commands me, for I know that he will. And that gets a full eight, so you can do one, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can do that on the D4, number one. Ka. No, I totally lost my words. Okay, I gotta go back. Follow his plan. Do whatever plan. Do whatever he commands me. Not for I know that he commands me. For I know that he will. Then your A minor seventh. I think the A minor 7th and the E minor only get 4 beats, okay? For I know that he will 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and lift your pinky. And that's your regular D sus4 with the pinky that I showed you before. And D with the pinky, so that's D sus4 number 2, and I've got a picture of that one too for you, okay? Yep, I do. And it says that you don't have to hold down your tall man, but I just do because I'm going to lift him up in a second. Anyway, lift my pinky and I need him there. So I just do a D with the pinky, but technically you don't need your tall man on the first string, so that's what the picture shows. Okay, I'm going to do that part again really slowly. I'm tempted to count it out for you, but I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure I can. I'm going to try it. Here we go. Okay. He'll provide a... Let's see. Provide a... I've lost my melody. I, I will Shut him out. 
I will make him. Now we're going to go back to our one, four, and seven. Do my pick. This E minor you're sharing with E7. Way, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a C2. One, two, three, four. I might just kind of go. I might go into the middle. I'd like to end on that second string. That's pretty. So I went one, two, three, two. Or you can go in the middle. Two, three, four, two. It's really pretty to end on that two there. Okay? Back to G5. One pluck and hold. One, two, three, and or one, two. Yeah, one, two, three, and six. I. Minor. I know I'm not alone. E minor. I feel my savior there. B C two. I'm gonna grab the whole thing, the one with the pinky. Side B, and just pluck it and let it go. Okay. All right. That is the ending of. I will go and do this. Is part two, much shorter. Okay. But it does have the bottom half of the song on there. All right. So that is a beautiful song. I will go and do, again, the 2020 LDS Youth Theme. You can go to rainydayguitar.com. You can print this off for free for one month. I'm going to I'm gonna offer this for free. I decided just for a month so that anybody who wants to get it can get a copy. Okay? All right. Hope you enjoyed that. For more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com.